Evening, welcome to Hartwood Turning in the Stable Studio. Got my cup of tea ready. I'm actually on time today. It's my Rebecca's fault. He nagged at me. So I hope you've all had a good weekend. Um, and you're ready to go for this week. Small project this evening. We have a piece of ash. It's about eight and a half inches in, uh, across and two inches deep. Mounted on a face plate ring. So I'll get this over to the lathe and I'll switch over to the uh, another camera. I can't switch this camera back on again because it probably won't work. Let's uh, go to the overhead. So we'll pop that in there and I'll mount this on the lathe. But we'll bring in these two hooligans first. See, two hooligans in tonight, guys. He forgot us, Pete. He did. He forgot he us. He forgot. Mark, he forgot. the gentleman would turn up. No, I didn't forget. And Pete of the Twisted Trees. They're going to keep though. me right. Yeah, they're going to try and keep me right. Uh, and I'll try and turn something. It's a piece of ash. We'll do some burning and some colouring. And maybe a bit of texturing. We'll see how it goes. So I'll pop you guys back in the background. And I'll get on with this. And you guys can do your thing. Shall I do it? Yeah, go on, Mark. Right. The usual spiel. Reading from the list provided by YouTube. In alphabetical order, Alex of Wooden Things, Barry's Wood Creations, Brian El Tornio, Brian with a Y, Clint of Wood Dancers, <laughs> Dave OT, 460, <laughs> Doug Miller, right James y. Crawford, Jennifer's Craft Creations, Neil M, Nigel Foster, Paul Finley, Wood Turning at Home, Paul Hewton, the Greasy Turner, Richard Phelan, Roy's the Boys, Susie, the Swiss Wood Turner, uh, Robert Buchanan, uh, Terry Bartlett, Tony Glencove Woodworks, Tony Smith, We Vowels, Tackle Turnings, Wifey Wood Shed, Wouldn't It Be Nice, Wood Turnings by Barry. Good evening, one and all. Welcome if along, everybody. You out, blame YouTube. If you missed you, it's his fault. My, my fault. It's your fault, actually, for not. No, it's your fault. Everything's your fault. Mark. Their no, fault. No, sorry, Mark. Not... No, sorry, Mark. It's your fault. Everything's your fault. Yorkshire your Kids fault. in. He says hello from him and Joe down at YGHQ. Are you You're still at YGHQ? Goodness Slave sake. Driving, he is. Slave driving. Slave driving is right. Back up with Glenn. Get her working. So I'll just put a face shield on just for the, the start of this till I get it in the round. But it's, not, it's nearly round, but not quite. So I'll put a face shield on anyway, just to be on the safe side. Turn the speed down and switch the lathe on. It's got a bit of a wobble on because it's not quite flat. Because I rushed through doing this on the bandsaw. So I'll just turn the lathe off again. Turn the speed up. A bit more. That's about 800. Let's just try and flatten this face first. I gotta go, Brian just started on YouTube. Uh, Roy, you say the camera needs sharpening up. If you go on to your settings on YouTube, you might find that your settings are on a, a lower um, resolution. Resolution. So if you set it to 720 or 1080 or automatic, you'll get a better picture because the picture is absolutely crystal clear. Yeah, my, my YouTube one is automatic at 480p. So you always have to up it to 720. Yes, that's not quite flat now, so... Keith Jarvis and Shane Hurst and Lewis, the Klondike Grassman, have just joined. Hi, guys. Good evening, all. So I'm just going to make a fairly simple shape here because it tonight's about more about the uh, texturing and stuff. He was asking, asking if he's going to make a central on Sunday. I'm going on the sunniest day because I'm going for a ride on the bike. He's not, he's not, he's not, he's not going. Ash, Cody Shed is in. Hi, Ash. Hi, oh, yeah. Hey Ash, welcome along with you. 
quite round there yet, so we'll just take a little edge off of there. And that should stop that bouncing. Hopefully. And we're going to put a mortise in the bottom of this. Which I'll do in a mortise. Get a piece in, my Trevor. Right, they can get rid of the tail stock now. Don't really need it. Switch the lathe off. Wind this thing back and forward. Definitely need a power winder on this thing. Take the elbow stubble out of the way. And let's set this for I suppose it's possible they could put a geared winder on it, isn't it? Yeah, make it faster. Yeah. Let me just flat flatten the bottom of this now. Says hopefully. Now I didn't get a good look at that as you spun it by hand then, but are you below the line of the pith? Yes. Cool. Michelle's in. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. I'll have a look at that just to just let you see that. Look. Sorry. Andy's in. Sure. Andy's in Italy. This, oh, this is the bit you're worried about, is it? Yeah, yeah. just give below well, the pith. That's fine. There's a bit below it. There is a crack there. But I'll, I'll super glue that in a minute. So have you got that new tool we were talking about at lunchtime? No. I've well, you asked me to order some. it. So should be with you soon. No, this one, I'll have to make this one, I'm afraid. So for my uh, job, I need a 54. Larry, Larry Nixon's in. He says, hello from Florida. Hello. Hi. Hi, Larry. How are you doing? Hello, Florida. What's the weather like in Florida? Oh. 54 mil, not 48 <laughs> mil, man. Don't do that. 54 mil. So making sure the tool rest is slightly above center. Change that camera to there. Right, not that one, that one. And if I just make sure that this is slightly above center, and I'm only going to engage the left point. See, told you my stick was quicker. It is. So we're just going to try and guess the middle, engage the left point. Oh, that wasn't bad. Michael has a body's in. Hi, Michael. And I'll just stop the lift just to show you that that's... <clears throat> there we go. Perfect. And Heather's in from Spirit Wind, Woodstone and Bone. Good evening, Michael and Heather. Yeah, yeah where's my little 10 mil? I've got a ten, little 10 mil bow gauge that I like to use. Which I've lost suddenly. Oh, there it is. Just on a little fraction. I'll do. More speed. That's about 1100 reds, that'll do. Michelle's that saying, a, Michelle Oosby is saying hello to a lot of people, but she's also saying, Sorry if she missed anyone, don't believe her. Because before the live started, she actually came in and said, I can't be bothered to say hello to everybody. <laughs> Back it. <laughs> if I'm going to be on lists, I'm going to be on everybody's list. Be on everybody's list. Ryan? Yes, mate. You know you raise your tool rest? Yeah, I'm sure putting it down again. again. I did put it down again, but not just quite enough. It'll be fine now. Michelle Higgins has joined us. Good evening. Hi, Michelle Higgins. Hi, Michelle. So when I first started wood turning, I used to hold the chisels like uh, Thor's hammer. But now I don't. I just use a gentle grip on the tool. 
we'll use an a skew just to put in a dovetail there and I've made that tenon far too deep again that's about Hugh, I can confirm tenon. that uh, Mark's eyes are open Mark's eyes are open, are they? Huh? Yeah, sure? he's actually it's causing trouble again and if his eyes are open he's always causing trouble Yeah I'm even, I even managed to cause trouble when I'm asleep. Yeah, well, we have this. We have this room. So I'm finished with the skew, so we'll put that away back in the rack. Let's have a look at that too, it's like. There was a little bit of camera wobble, Dave, yeah. Yeah. Camera wobble? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That vibration again. Have you got your extractor on? No. That was what caused it the other day. Yeah, I don't understand that, to be honest. Why that is doing that. Uh, I'll maybe have to reinforce the shelf that that camera's mounted on. Or mount it straight to the wall, maybe that'd be a better idea. Straight to the wall, what you're there playing for? It's, it's a concrete wall, so. 3 8 bow gauge. And we're just going to take this off now and try and do a finishing cut all the way around this edge. HEK Woodworks is in. Ah. Welcome along, sir. I'll better set a foot first, eh? So that'll be enough of a foot. We'll just take a tiny little bit out of there. Like that. Is that camera still wobbling? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it is. And now we'll just try and set the shape of this. <clears throat> and just try and get a finishing cut at the same time. we we'll go over here. Chris, we'll off your tool rest. Overhead. Chris from Bailey Woodworks yeah. is in our Chris. You won't see much from the overhead. Try that one. Get that out. Right. Hi, Chris. Have a look at that, see what that's like. It's pretty good. There's a little bit of a knot in there, it's just got a split in it, and a little knot here as well. Other than that, we have to lose a little bit more on this edge. It's not quite got round here. There as well. I've got a little flat spot there, but I'll just take a little bit more out of it. Let me just adjust that to rest again. Right there, so much. Oops. Fell off the cut then. I'm just taking another sort of sixteenth of an inch or so out of that. Sixty-eight watching, Oh, thank you, guys. Appreciate that. But well, there's that crack there. Uh, still got a little flash one there. Hmm. Norman, Norman Greenwell's joined. Hi, Norman. Let me just take that flat spot off of there just first, so as I know where I'm going. People in the chat saying I'm a troublemaker. Ain't hey, that the can't, truth? I'm saved myself. No, no, you can't. Yeah, only setting you up here, aren't they? I should do. 
Keep Two checking. In. They would do. Hey, Stephen. Welcome along, mate. Hi, Stephen. Stephen's going to make it, did you know? Yeah, he's going to be on the chestnut stand. Mm -hmm. Some yes, of his, uh, fine bits of work. Making everybody else look completely amateur. <laughs> I know. I freely admit I'm a cutter, not an artist. Don't have the eye to be an artist. So I like people like Stephen giving me things I can steal. Yeah, me too. And he does that with a plum, I have to say. He does. That's us now. That'll do. Sandy. Alexa, extractor on. He show off. My Alexa just said, sorry, I didn't find a group of device named extractor. So did everybody else is in the kingdom. <laughs> a lot of Glen Cove Woodworks is asking a very good question. How many lists is Mark on? <laughs> the that I know of is three. No, he well, just managed to get himself on the shelves, so I don't know. All of them, yeah, I would say. Michelle, Jennifer's, Joe's. I don't think there are any others. Steven said so I can buy him a coffee for any idea he uses or I use. Yeah, sounds like a fair deal. No, I'll just steal them, Stephen, sorry. You, uh, you keep putting them on Facebook, I'll keep poaching them. Keith, Keith Jarvis got a question. He says he's having trouble with the tool rest height. He doesn't think he has it set right. Not wishing to clog up the chat. Can anyone advise a good video to watch on this topic? Thank you in advance. Any of um, Martin Saban Smith's earlier videos, he explains tool rest height almost every video. Yeah. So he does a good does, job of does. explaining about where to cut on the tool rest. I can explain Sorry, it to you rest? quite nicely. If you look at the bit of the tool that's doing the cut, so the actual width of the shaving, that part of the tool, that wants to be one and a half millimeters above the center line. That's very precise, Pete. I know. And the tool rest height will depend on how you're standing, how tall you are, how tall your lathe is. How thick the tool is. How thick the tool is. So I can't tell you the height because that varies by so many factors. Yep. But the bit that's important is the bit of tool that's making the cut. If you look at where the shaving is coming on the tool, that bit wants to be a fraction above center. Spot on. Just a little tool mark up at this edge here. That'll get rid of using this 80 grit bit of sandpaper. And if you're using a skew, whatever height you're using it at, drop your tool rest by three millimeters. That is the norm, Pete. yeah. Thank Pete later. Yeah. Yeah, thank I, Pete later. My normal advice when I watch people using a skew. Drop it by three mil. But as I said, it depends on the piece of wood you're cutting, how tall you are, how tall your lathe is. Um, how you're standing, if you're standing with, with your legs bent or straight, it all makes a difference. And in fact, quite often I don't bother to adjust the tool rest, I just adjust my legs, bend my knee a bit, straighten them up. So there's a little tool mark just after uh, the end grain portion of this bowl. So I'm assuming the tool bounced over the end grain a bit. Going from there now. It's gone from there, that's good. Now we've got through your grits here. 128. The remaining grits shouldn't take nearly as long.
you're welcome, Keith. And the other bit of advice I give to everybody is it doesn't matter what a book says, if the cut's good, it's right. Yep. Yeah. There's truth in that, too. Don't Ryan. be a slave to the book. Just use the, the, the book as a guideline and then find your own method. Right. Yes, mate. Oh, no. He's only got four today, guys, so better get a move yeah. on. You need, you need to be finished in time for me to be able to go up to Morrison's. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, it's one of them days, is it? Yeah, because I haven't got any at the moment. You should have went to Morrison's first. That's your own fault. Lawrence Pagage is in, and Steve from SK Crafts has joined. Hi, Steve. Hi, Lawrence. Hi, Steve. Oh, Hi, Steve. Wait a minute, I bet. I'll let Steve in because he's, 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 he's actually he's backstage. backstage. Yep. There he is, Luke. Hi, Good Steve. Evening. Hi, Good evening, Steve. Good evening, Steve. Good evening, Steve. How is it? Bye, bye, bye. Hi. <laughs> Paul Gavin is in. Hi, Paul. What's he doing? 240. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for the lovely welcome. Sorry, oh, we have to do it. We're, we're contractually obliged. Yeah, yeah, busy day, Steve. yeah just a little bit. <laughs> Let's forget about today, shall we? And move on. Oh, okay. Move on, he says. <laughs> move on. <laughs> no, tomorrow's Tuesday, Steve. <laughs> yeah, I'll be glad when it's Friday. Yeah, yep. Oh, so will I. So will I. David well, Lawrence in. Hi, David. Uh, Pete and I don't care what day of the week it is because it's every day is the same. That's true. I can't get that middle bit sanded. I'm going on holiday in the, uh, Wednesday week, so. Ooh, very nice. Where are you going to be? Ibiza. Ibiza. Well, you're away as well next first. week. Yep. What well, am going to do for the other ones next week? You're going to be I'm stopped, stopped. Too, I'm going to... Pizza and Ibiza, I'm in Turkey. Oh, here, hold on a minute, guys. Hope you've got good, <laughs> good internet connections. I'm away Wednesday to Wednesday, so, um, yeah. Oh, I'll get you on Monday then, that's okay. I'm away for two weeks. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, colouring this, so we'll, we'll be doing up to 400 great here. Uh, question from AGK Woodworks. What speed are you sanding at, please? Speed, uh, currently 720. Yeah, I think Mark's got a list fetish, actually, Todd. Oh, I do. So I'm, a, I'm addicted to lists. It kind of just depends on how your wood is, what your speed is, basically. This is a piece of ash, so it's fairly easy to sand. Steve, the wood dude's giving me some advice. He says, Mark, always shop for booze early doors, then you set up after work. I haven't actually worked today. I didn't, I didn't get back from Kim's until late this afternoon and didn't get a chance. So. <clears throat> They've already said so. Mark is away, Peter's away, Terry is bound to be away. <laughs> yeah, I'll Terry's... be left by myself next week, the sounds of it. Oh, Steve will still be here. Heard... Steve's reliable. Yeah, well, I'll try to be. Hi, Lionel. How are you doing, mate? Hi, Lionel. <clears throat> if, I mean, if he's he's late, I still covering for him. How is Terry anyway? Anybody heard from him today? Yeah, I spoke to him earlier. He's uh, feeling a bit better, but he's, he Good. just feels that he needs a bit of a rest. Good man. So he's, he's David, probably nice watching in the background. Hi, David. Hi, David. You are watching Terry. Hope you get better, mate. Yeah, definitely. Ah, much better. Mucho better. So that's up to 400 grit. I'll just try and do this little edge here again. Never get that little edge just perfect, but then it doesn't really need to be perfect unless you're entering into a show. If it's just for sale, a customer will never notice. Only another wood turner, and a wood always picks oh, up the, speaking the, the first. <laughs> first thing any wood turner does picks up the ball. TJ turns in. Hi, Terry. Hi, Terry. Hope you're feeling well, mate, or better anyway. A large the Alexa, extractor off. Wow, damn, there's a sanding lane now. I was chatting away on mute then. 
Hi, Terry. I hope you're re ready for next Monday. <laughs> right. What do you next. what do you what do you have to do then, Brian? No, I know. I know what I have to do. I'm going to texture it. <laughs> For those watching, what should you do if you're yeah, not going to texture it? Go, go back to 80 grit and take it out. Yeah. But I'm going to texture this bit, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to, it'll be hidden by a line. See, this is why a lot of professional turners say stop in between grits and check before you move on to the next grit. Well, I did. Oops, that's too fast, guys. That should be at 500. There we go. I just want to put a little bit of texture out around this edge. Take a bit there, so I'm we'll do it again. Very correct, Steve. Always check between each grid, have a good look. Yeah. Make a decision before you move on. Yeah, oh, we know. Oh, 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 I, I did all oh, that. I will say, there's a lot of textured bowls appearing on Facebook the last few days. Is there? I wonder who caused mm. that. You mean everybody's standing wrong? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to use this little tool here to put a line on this. It's a, a, a point tool. It's quite amazing how fashions go through. Every few weeks, there'll be some... A new trend. Turn up, and then you see several of them. Yeah. I don't think it's because yeah. somebody's influence. I just think several people have the same idea. Uh, Mrs. T's done a lot of nice, some nice ones lately. She has. Yeah. She's nice. Cole, something too. It helps that uh, Colwyn Way with Axminster has been doing the the Nick Agar. Yeah. Um, sunset bowl, yeah. Sunset bowl. That's got a lot of texture in on it. He's <clears> just got Bonner in now too. He's just a. We've got Turning World. Ryan, you haven't oh, put people's... two burnt lines on there, have you? I did put, I did put two burnt lines on it. Yeah, just annoy oh. Mark. Make sure Mark doesn't see it or you'll claim copyright. I'm just ignoring you. It's not two, it's three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not putting three on it. Three would look stupid. I don't care if it's two or three. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Who's B? <laughs> so just give that a quick burnish with some uh, shavings. Nice, I'll do. Thank you, Roy, but don't encourage Terry. No. Oh, you know what I haven't done? I haven't set up my uh, air gun thing. I did. Uh, I'm going to spray this I did, now. I did some mule posts for joiners the other day. Took them up there, handed them over, and he said, oh, yeah, they they look great. He said, hold on. What are these three burn lines on the tin? And I said, don't worry about those. No one will ever see them. <laughs> Ah, oh, yeah, so... I had to explain to him, there, my mark. So, airbrush. I'm going to airbrush the bottom of this with something. Uh, I was toying with the idea of uh, blues. Uh, sky blue, midnight blue, and maybe a little bit of earth on the base, earth on the bottom here. Sky blue and then dark blue. What do you think? That makes sense? Sounds good to me. Well, Stephen the Wood dude, he's the, he's the culinary expert. Yeah. Yeah. In, in the absence uh, of Mike. Brian with the Y is asking, <laughs> if you texture with that tool and then rotate the handle 90 degrees, do you get a diamond pattern? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Do you but need not to do that, it on that? Seriously, I'm not that much. I've lost it. I'm, yeah, you do. To get a it's my pattern, it's, um, you can get away with uh, one set of texturing lines on a softer, like ash or whatever. But um, the no pattern needs to be really hard. Did you see that, Mark? He just sprayed hey, his lay bed. Just sprayed his bed in lay bed. <laughs> yeah, like that. I don't it cleans off. What are you panicking about? It cleans off. It's very, very simple and easy to do. He has a go at us as well, Mark. You know. Ah, uh, right. What's, what's the? Uh, oh, there's no tools in my bed. 
Yeah, we haven't got else for doing it. It's yeah, bit... that's because you're not supposed to. It's bad practice. It's a bit you're not supposed though, to spray your bed weight either. What are you say, Steve? That gun's a bit spitty. It has a bit, yeah. Maybe needs a good clean. Yeah. Be all right. Be all right for what I'm doing. With. It's all right. It's fine. I'll give it a bit of a clean out of metal that spirits here now. I reckon it's Hampshire Sheen and Trinsic colours, Roy, that you yeah. spray. I think that you're absolutely earth. right. That was Earth first, yep. What are you going to go for next? And we're going to go for uh, Midnight Blue, or will I do Midnight Blue at the top? Okay. Sky Blue and Midnight Blue. At the top. Todd's asking, what do you use to clean your leaf bed after spraying? <laughs> Methylate spurts. Ah, sky blue. Yeah, meth or uh, denatured alcohol, as, as you call it over there. Oh, look, I'm getting a blue hand, look. It's handy. Just trying to make sure it goes down the texture a wee bit. So you sanding that back, or you? I had no intention of sanding it back. I just oh, wanted right. to leave because you can still see the the texture. But I could, if I go a bit darker in here, we can sand it back a bit. Misha Usby just said, "Mark and Pete, Brian gets paint everywhere." <laughs> I think she was going to say, except where he's supposed to paint, but. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. That's exactly right. I'm no good painting with a brush at all. I'm not much good painting with a airbrush either, to be honest. Lewis's his premier is loading. He's not prepared like last week. Ah, Lewis, come on! You let me down this week. Shocking. Chris, Chris has got a good question. How many days after painting the lathe bed can you lacquer it? <laughs> that's, that's a really good question. The answer to that would probably be three days. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm just going to give that a quick blast with uh, 400 sandpaper again. I've already Stephen told said, you, that. I've already told you that, Stephen, but you don't listen. Yeah, he doesn't listen. See, what? 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 Spraying with the lathe running at a slow speed gives you a more even coat, you muppet. Ah, oh, jeez, you'll let that dry really before you sand it back. Should have, you know, why I'm wearing it, I'm wearing it now. Just want to sand this bit back a little bit. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. You stress too much. What should he have done, Steve? Oh, he should have dried a hot air gun, then sanded it. Yeah, that, that's... Ah, you're fine. Yeah. It's fine. It's gone. It's gone. That's what, we're all, what we're all saying to each other in the background here. He's all, all, that, all, that I'll do, all that I do while you're sanding it wet will clog up your sanding piece. Look at that. That's gorgeous. I love that. Now. It's perfect. It's perfect. And now the, we'll just do some. That's supposed to be light blue. Looks like purple. He's, he's, Steve, he's still he's not going to turn the light on at slow speed, is he? Oh, dear, here, there. Look, there. Slow. Too fast. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Hold on, I'll turn it down. Gee, give me a minute. You want the middle belt? Yes, dear. Should be able to get it down to about 99 then. Yeah, I know. It just takes a minute because if you do it too quick, it just stops. Yeah. There, look. Yeah, you want 87.3. That's, yeah, that's 95. That's close enough. That's the funniest light blue I've ever seen. Did you shake it? Are you sure that's the light blue? Because it don't look like no, it. It's not. It's midnight blue. That's midnight blue. Um, midnight blue and uh, sky blue are very, very different names. So it's built different and everything. <laughs> yeah, it's it. It's, it's got, look, it says, look, 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 look. It's got a label on it. You can see, you see the sky color. blues in the middle. Change color. Yeah. It's got a label. Which, uh, look, it says midnight blue. Midnight. Yeah, that doesn't look very much like sky blue to me. No, sky um, blue's in the middle there, look. I am dyslexic, but you know. And, and now what you told me to do in the first place. You told me to put midnight. You told me to put the sky blue in the middle, and then the dark blue at the top. I'm Lewis not sure. Like. Link in. Oh, hello. 
Already? Oh, Lewis. Oh, yeah, he's making through the checks, apparently. Oof. He's on the board. Canadian band language. Terrible. I didn't know how he managed to get that. So we're just cleaning the brush with a little of the metal of spirits. And that's all we're doing with that just for now. We might need it again later. Might. So now I have to let that dry, Steve. Yes. Hot air gun. Hot air gun. I haven't got one. What am I going to do now? Michelle's okay, hairdryer. Right. Michelle, can you bring your hairdryer out, please? <laughs> Sorry, I've got it. Oh, you've got Michelle's hairdryer. Uh, I stole it earlier. I could, I could use my blowtorch, I suppose. It's got 37 gouges on the wall, but ain't got a hot air gun. I don't own a, I don't own a hot air gun. Oh, you need one. Dude, you, know what, you know what Brian's like with hot things? <laughs> yeah, this is true. What, yeah. what do I need one for? This what is like a child. One? This is like the childproof version of a hot air gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there may be trouble ahead. <laughs> yes. Look at that blow them shavings everywhere. Goodness sake. Hey, it's not resin shavings. What like you made me do earlier? I didn't make you do it. How'd your live go, Pete? I haven't seen it yet. How'd you get on? It was all right, actually. Didn't get any catches, I don't think. Oh, I even looked at the screen a couple of times and didn't get any catches. <laughs> we, also, we also came to the conclusion, Steve, that it was all your fault. Why is it my fault? Because you inspired today's. Oh, did I? You gave Brian resin, and then Pete. Brian made Pete turn resin. No, I no, that's not how it no, 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 that's not it. No, I thought Pete weren't using the two pack. I didn't realise he was using resin. He didn't use. No, resin. I, was, I was using epoxy. Five minute epoxy. Eve. Oh. I was attempting to do a, a a version of what you did with milliput. All oh, right. Okay. Put some 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 embedded channels in, and it worked. Colour cut, cut some epoxy, right. and it didn't it's fall out like I expected it to. Oh, good. Let's put a bit, let's put a little bit of sanding sealer on here. I must admit, I've used a coloured epoxy, um, co yeah, epoxy with um, colours in it a couple of times. Get some nice colours out of it. No. Yeah, I'll I protect, my, I'll protect uh, my lathe here with this board. Well. Let's go the overhead. Go ahead, Brian. Nobody's listening listen to you man. anyway. How about that? <laughs> I'll protect my lathe with the board now because I don't like sanding sealer on my lathe. It's a bit late for that. <laughs> what's Pete? What's that saying? Close the stable door after the horse is yeah. bolted. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you're just far too fussy. Woodwork learners in. Hi, Andy. Hi, Andy. How you doing, mate? The trouble is, we all know that Brian doesn't believe in stable doors. So. Correct. That's why there's no horses in here, and it's a studio. We don't do captive horses. We do free range, range horses. Free range horses. We do free range horses. They lay better eggs. They do. <laughs> eat more people that way. And they're much tastier when you eat them. I mean, uh, the eggs. You're not allowed. You're not allowed to say that in, uh, in Ireland or England either. No. They eat horses. People get rather horse, upset by it. It's the horses that eat the people. Apparently so, according to your logic, anyway. They do, yeah. Oh, I know. Just got blue stuff on, mate. Smart. There we go. Now I did. I did think about. Oh, you should use some shavings to do that again. I'm a little bit concerned, actually. What you sound of it? Andy Woodward Learner has been in here for at least four, four or five minutes. No, he hasn't given me. Yet. Hasn't given me any abuse yet. No, he hasn't. Yeah, it's not no. like him. Well, actually, he did. His first comment was. Um. Sorry, I'm like I've been trying to find some heat proof gloves for Brian. Well, yeah, but that's not really that's just help. That was almost helpful. Oh Lewis no, did a fair bit dish as well. There you go. I like that now. Now, I did buy these things. Have we seen these before? Let's go with that camera. These. Oh, chestnuts. Chestnut. Rainbow waxes, blue. Yeah. The rainbow waxes, yeah. And I was just wondering, could I do some of that texturing with a different colour? 
Oh, that green's nice. Yeah, the blue green's never be seen. Mm. That's why. That's... I, I would be tempted by the turquoise myself. This one. Let's try it and see. Never used this before, guys. I have no idea. Directions, it says. Oh, look, there's a lot of lead on the top. It's like the same as embellishment. Oh, it's oh, only half. Michelle, just typed in. You what? Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, angry yeah. face. Yeah, where, where did you get them from? <laughs> that was the last time I was at the woodshed there. You weren't there. So yeah, it's, your, it's your fault. It says, apply to sealed or unsealed wood with a cloth. Allow it dry for five minutes. What? Okay. Follow the instructions. I did, I? But I'm not going to. Oh, look at that. So, sure like that. I've not seen this stuff up close. Is it a gel? It's, uh, yeah, oh, it's everywhere now. It's a bit like the burnishing then, burnishing cream. It's, it's just exactly the same as burnishing cream, to be honest. Oh, look at it, I've made a mess. Oh, it's everywhere now. Oh. I wonder if you apply that with a brush. She says apply it with a cloth. But... I think you should do, because uh, you're making a hell of a mess with a bit of cloth. <laughs> Shut up, you. <laughs> Shut up, you. <laughs> I may be able to get it down into the. Those who are putting there twelve pound ninety nine per can. That's what Why it was. I moved up Michelle's list. <laughs> <laughs> You're not far wrong at twelve ninety nine a can, but it's not quite. It's about half that. But it certainly isn't cheap. I'm gonna have to sand this back up again now. I'm supposed to like this at all. We shouldn't have done this. <laughs> Too late now. We could, be, we could be turning this off again. Dave Oti says, you don't get this re issue with resin, Brian. Oh, this is true. Somebody else does the colours for you. <laughs> In my experience. Isn't that right, Steve? Yeah. I don't mind. It's a bit of luck of the draw, though, when you do resin, because you don't know how it's going to blend. You don't know how it's going to mix. So. It was really, that that uh, egg is really nice. I've got it here. I'll let you see if you want. I can show you it if you want to see it. It's still in the studio. I'm trying to get that down at the bottom of the uh, texturing, but it's not really wanting to go. So it's not a wax then, it's more of a... It is a wax, yeah. Oh, it is a wax. Yep. What does it smell like? Um, nothing. No real smell of it unless I've got COVID. Uh, Lewis, Steve, how was your birthday week? That was great, thank you, Lewis. It was a really good weekend, really, really good. Yeah, it's all right, only for, only for the fact Pete gave everybody the cold. Yeah, I know. Think of to make God and kiss him. That's true. So I'll let us try for five minutes, guys. What are we going to do for five minutes? So I'll let us try. Uh, Mark, do pole dance. Sing, dance. I thought we'd moved away from the pole dancing thing. No, we haven't. Baz, Baz is yeah, joining, right, Baz? You thought we had moved away from it. Bonjour, we oui, Barry. Oh, hee ho, hee ho. How are you? <laughs> so Michelle's just put, you can see why I don't let Brian paint. Hmm. Uh, we was uh, thinking that, Michelle. Yeah. Right, Michelle, get out of here. See, I always paint like that when Lisa's looking. Yep, I agree, Pete. It's a great trick. Right, I'm not sure I like that at all. But never mind. Can't look better when you brush it off. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Dave, I'm not kidding. Dave Otis, Dave, Dave Otis says, well, look at it this way, Brian. If you have to return, return it and start again. You can sand it without lines, spray it with the right colour and with a label oi, and get a more oi. even coverage. <laughs> <Oi>. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's absolutely no call for that, mate. That's just shocking. <laughs> What's on, Mr. Oti? 
<laughs> Very good. Is that Mr. Oatley? It is. Uh, so Lewis has said his dad's 83 tomorrow. Well, wow, wish him happy birthday from Mr. Lewis. Happy birthday, Mr. Klondike Sr. Oh, Joe birthday. says, uh, Glenn says, Joe is singing the grit song. I hope you're going to use it on the inside. I'm sure mm. you've been using it all day. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to burn the inside. I don't Does she to, not uh, sing? She makes it. I don't know how I'm getting that getting it off of there now. Uh, <laughs> I use it at least seven times. It's time to try and annoy you, Glenn. Get a little bit of methylated spirits on the cloth and see if that come off with a little bit of meth. All right. Try that. Try that. It's going to come off. No, I wonder it's sanded and sealed in it, so it should be all right. Let's try as, long rub, as long as you don't rub too hard. Nah, it's not coming off, guys. It's no. going to have to be sanded off. Well, well it, works, it might buff off. That's an experiment and a half, isn't it? Oh, it did come off a little bit. It's all over the place. Look at the state of me. It's all over my hands and everything. Wow, well, what can we say? Does it say on the tin, use gloves? It says, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Note to self. Don't use this stuff again. I think it's all right if you're doing the whole thing, but not to try and put it in a... Well, I think that was what the idea it was invented for, was to embellish. Todd, we believe there's four or five zeros on the end of Terry's at H in over ears. Yorkshire Kid says apparently lemon oil will take it off. We'll try that in a minute. Well, the Perhaps chestnut reducer, according to Wavy Woodshed. Perhaps she was a little bit heavy handed with it, Brian. Uh, perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Do you think so, Steve? Mm, I'm getting that hint. That you might have been a little bit heavy handed with it. <laughs> There's a motto right. in there, um, less is more. I think you could be right. For sure. That's an yeah, experiment. But you've got, you you've got Wait. earth, terracotta, you've got earth, whatever the colour that is. Well, then... It was supposed to be sky blue. It's turquoise but now. I've, I've just highlighted it with turquoise. I'm mm. a genius. It might turn out nice. Then it might turn out that it's right. getting sanded back off again. Terry said he'll be two years younger than Mark on his birthday. Oi, Bray. I know where you live. Oh, I absolutely hate that now, guys. I absolutely hate it. Yep. I need some work. Yeah, yeah. Need some. It needs some of that. Try retexturing it. Try, try um, retexturing it. Let me try this first. I'll go sand it. I might sand it. I'll not sand it. Trevor P. I'll be doing her saying what we're all thinking. What? He says, I must say, Brian, you've cocked that up. I think you could be right. I think you'll find out I just clogged a bit up. Uh, I will. I absolutely will. 100%. Oh, that's just uh, making it worse. No, it's not. Hold on. Give it a saying. I've got loads of sandpaper. Yeah, he's got 20 metres of it. Yeah. Pete, when Brian comes to you and says, can I buy a load of extra sandpaper off you, can you remind him that he can't because it's mine? It's yours, yeah. I mean, you're going commercial now. You're going to need it. To be fair, though, I only need up to 180. <laughs> to be fair, I think I'm doing this again. You're going to cut that, yeah. I think that'd be the easiest option. The easiest option would be to recut it, wouldn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. Just like this. More speed. Yes, well, it's, uh, 20 metres of each grit was 12 you know, a lot. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I'd add a hundred meters of each if that was the case. Hey, I got thirty-five meters of each. Remember when you said go back to integrate again? <laughs> yeah. Who was it who said when you go back to Dave Oti? Andy says, that looks like one of my pieces now, Brian. Well, that's okay. It doesn't really matter. It's all an experiment at the end of the day. Don't ask the valid question. Does Pete have enough beer for Brian to start over? <laughs> I've got another ten cans in the fridge, Todd. I'm not really starting over. I'm just kind of. Well, Brian, when you, one, huh? Brian, when you use that little ten mil bowl go, so you get a little bit of vibration for it. Just a little bit. Yeah. Not too much though. Not too bad. Feels better. She was asking, is Brian doing a Stuart Farini? <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's exactly what I did. I had an experiment, it didn't work, so we're doing something else. Well Brian showed you how not to use the the rainbow waxes. So now he's gonna show you yeah. how to use them. Yeah. I'm not, how not to I'm apply not. them. I'm <laughs> I'm okay. Brian. Yes, mate. Oh no, Pete! Stop putting him under pressure. <laughs> Don't speed down again. Oh dear, I don't know. Never raised my four. Alexa, extractor on. Extractor on. <laughs> Even she's not playing now. Mine is. <laughs> what, what did she say this time, Pete? Same thing. She can't find the group. I'm going to find a light bulb or something and call it extractor. Just for a laugh. See, this is what happens when you don't prepare. So Terry's come up with a good suggestion. Brian, if you're going to do it again, then dry brush over the top of the texture with the wax. No, I don't think yeah. I'm going to bother. I think I'll uh, kick that yeah. idea in the touch. I think that needs it some practice. I think it does. However, experimenting on a live is a good thing. It is. It just lets people see that it doesn't we, always we all go right. from it. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't be an idiot like Brian. <laughs> be worth trying those rainbow waxes because there's a nice variance of colours. How many different colours are there? Six? Um, yeah, six or eight, I think. I'm not sure. There's a lot of them. I've got four there, I think. <laughs> Dave, so Dave, oh Dave, you're on a roll tonight. He says if you sand it without the lines, you won't need the texture. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'm putting lines back in again. I'm putting the texture back in. The texture back says, in. I'm at the toilet and stop calling me Alexa. <laughs> Dave, you've got to come over to my workshop. I need to meet you. <laughs> 180. Can't come to mind, he's not allowed. Better make a better job of sanding it this time, eh? And Terry said, at least Glenn may get to see Brian use some grit. Yeah, maybe. And then Joe can sing to him again. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, isn't Glenn lucky? Whoop, whoop. <laughs> isn't he just? What dude says, I went to make a sandwich and everything's just changed. Well, there was a yeah. bit of a mishap there, Stephen. Yeah, Stephen. There was a, there was a huge... Um, um, there's a word for it, but I won't use it in polite company. Brian showed us how not to use rainbow wax. Yep. Adam Lavutan. Hi, Adam. How are you doing? You joined us. Good evening. Hi, Adam. And Todd said, for those two oh. just tuning in, you have missed an hour of woodworking comedy. Well, for the rest, <laughs> it's deja vu all over well, again. Yeah. Well, Adam from Isle of Woodturn is just joined. Hi, Adam. Uh, Steve just said that. Oh, yeah, it's deja vu all you, over were again. You were you sleeping? <laughs> again. Oh, I did actually have to take my headphones off to <laughs> do something. Just, just have a good laugh to yourself, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, that's okay. You're allowed to laugh. That's why we're here. Have a bit of fun on a Monday night. Can I just point out, Brian, that Morrison's shuts in an hour and three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right, I'm just going to put my two lines back in again. That's fine, Mark. I've got plenty. Take yeah, I've got, I've got loads Bristol. as well. I've got loads as well. Be in Bristol in two I hours. did the sensible thing. I bought it from Amazon. Let's turn the speed down to 500 again. We'll put so, a bit of texture back in. So there's 10 colours on the rainbow wax. There's 10? Yep. Goodness me. Wow. And what, and what, what, are they, what price are they per? They are £7.80 each, all for all 10, £70.24. And the colours are aqua blue, bright blue, bronze, charcoal, green, ivory, lilac, pink, red, vivid blue. Right. And can I just remind Steve that, P that Michelle is in the chat and you've just... Thanks, Steve. Yeah. You asked, you asked. Oh, I did, I saw that. that was oh, she's asking again, how much, Steve? Um, they're seventy pound twenty four each tub, Michelle. And Brian's got eight tubs. He's only got four. Don't listen to him, Michelle. So that's two hundred and eighty quid, Michelle. He only showed four tonight, but we know we've got another four in the other drawer. <laughs> right. And the way he, the way he uses it, he's going to have to buy some more next week. <laughs> he won't be using it again tonight. That's for sure. Right, sir. <coughs> Extractor off. So let's. Uh, I'm going to do this. <laughs> See, I used to have that set up in my workshop. I used to be able to ask her to turn it on. The only problem was it was so loud, she couldn't hear me to ask to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> but my extractor's <laughs> outside, so it doesn't really matter. Right, we're going to spray this again. Well, we go with the same colours again. What's that line in there now, then? What? What? This, this is texturing. Oh, okay. Okay. The texture's it again. Well, you're not paying attention. No, it's on chestnuts page. Airworms. See, airworms. You just can't get the stuff. Right, I need three colours. I want three colours now. So I've got earth there. What goes with sky blue and, and uh, midnight blue? Andy has just said, Brian's also ordered an SK114 chuck too, Michelle. <laughs> Purple. No, he hasn't. Purple. Plum. And Hugh's yeah. responded to that. Yeah. I'm so glad my wife doesn't watch YouTube. Plum. Yeah. Plum. yeah. We'll do plum on the bottom. Earth fading into plum and then sky blue and then dark blue. In the, right. the artist with the badge said dark colours at the bottom. Yeah. And Dave Ozy said, read the label what? this time, Brian. Rotate, and turn the label. on. Oh, yes, yeah, I'm doing it. Oh, oh, for goodness man. sake. Would you ever give my headpiece? That's a good Austin expression. 
Get my head some piece. Yeah, is that slow enough for you? No. Yeah. You get better feathering in when you're rotating it anyway. Yeah, because you can draw away. Like this. Yeah, that'll do. Relatively happy with that. So if you'd done your texturing after your colour... Yeah, you would have. You'd have seen yeah. the, the, the wood come through. I know. Uh, midnight blue then, next. Dark colours at the bottom, says our Terry. Question from me to the chat. I've got a chunk of wood here, which is uh, 16 inches square, 8 inches deep. Do you want me to video it being cored? Chuck yes. it up. I think so. If not, why not? Well, I've done a couple of coring videos already, but you know, this is a nice big piece. I'll get um, three or four out of this. It'll be better watching me make a mess of this painting. I think that's an anonymous yes. Okay, we'll do that. So I'll be live next day. Uh... No, it's not live. It's going to be a video because there's going Don't to be a bit of messing about with Don't it. Don't be such a chicken. Anyway, I can't Thanks, do guys. like my carrier pigeons yeah. are knackered. Okay, after <laughs> today, uh, I forgot about them. I forgot about the poor carrier pigeons. I need to can't do a live next Monday because it's a bank holiday. Yeah, isn't it? No one's in Bristol on a bank holiday. Bristol's renowned yeah. for not having... Uh, the carrier the pigeons will all be down, down the beach getting their fish and chips. So I'm just taking some of that uh, darkness off of the outside rim because I want a lighter Susie, colour there. Susie does ask a very pertinent and well-worded question. <laughs> well, Why was that colour not being put on with the lathe turning? It was. No, it wasn't. You stopped it and did it by I hand. Stopped, uh, yeah, I stopped, but then I wanted to fill in some of the um, right. texturing. That's why Tick I did magnet. it by hand. Ed Shapers just joined. Who are Tick Magnet? Good evening. Oh, yeah. Stop. Red for stop, green for go. I know. I did it right that time. Well, Ed Shaper, the, the, um, there we go. the video has been restarted, especially for you, because we knew you were on your way. <laughs> so, so we rolled, rolled oh. it back and started again. I went back right to the very beginning for you. <laughs> what time is it? I haven't even started the inside yet. I'll have to dry this now, don't I? Yep. <sighs> I knew I shouldn't have put the hair dryer away. Never mind. Oh, got a big crack here. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll have a go at one of these on Friday night. What do you reckon, Brian? What was that, mate? I might have a go at one of these on Friday night. Yeah, good idea, mate. <laughs> well, show me how you do it, right? No, I doubt that very much. I've actually quite enjoyed the last couple of weeks we've been... Um... Following each other around on projects, it's been quite fun. Hmm. Battery handshots. We'll do something. Like we'll do right. something totally different on the inside of this wall, guys. So, hi, yeah. Valerie. So, don't go away. Terry's put in there. This could end up as an egg cup. Egg cup. It's not getting cut off again. That's the end of it now. I'm not doing any more. That's it. Please We're done. Glenn says, right, we're away to get tea and beer. Good See man. Glenn. Glenn. See well done, mate. Cheers, Glenn. Bye. Enjoy. It's, been, it's been a long day in the workshop. On the workhouse. <laughs> Joe calls it. Joe, don't forget it. you're on overtime, so you've got to buy a nice tea. Triple time after five, isn't it? And yeah. a day in lieu. Sanding seal up. 
I don't know, Lou's not that great. For the West Coast of Cornwall myself. Sandy Killer, you know, here. You're doing hiding with Sandy Killer. So now, Sandy Killer, let's do that bit first. And then that dark bit. Don't like this either. But I'm not starting again now. It'll have to be what it'll be. It's fine. Quick piece of paper. Can you give us a better view? Can you change the camera so it's like a side view? Uh, like that one. Yeah, that's better. Sorry, guys. 54 minutes before I can't get any beer. Yeah, but they're right. in the morning. All right, Mark. Yeah, they'll be open in the morning. Yeah, right? Mark, Mark, if you're that desperate, go and get some beer, mate. <laughs> no, I'll wait. If you don't want a beer, Mark, just say, you know. You don't have to. You don't have to. You don't, you don't need an excuse. Just go, you know. <laughs> <laughs> tell you what, Mark, if you're going to cut it off again, you could go, come back, and be at the same space. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's not getting cut off again, guys. It's that we're done. That's it. That's the outside finished. I'm not doing any more. Oh, I'm not putting yeah. that stuff on it. So, Keith Jarvis has got to go. Cheers, Keith. See you Bye, later, Keith. Keith. See you Keith's had enough. <laughs> Terry's put Mark Brian will be a still beer when you come back. <laughs> Shooting Green, he's just joined us. Did I see his name? In? Yeah. Hi, Stuart. Hi, right, sure. How you doing? Larry Henshaw's asked, "Is that dark blue or purple dye?" Yeah, it's a it's a wood stain. It's the intrinsic it's wood, colors. Yeah, intrinsic it's colors. There's plum, purple, plum. Uh, midnight blue, and sky blue. Plum. Aye, plum. Is that what I said. Yeah. Aye, purple. I said no. Yeah, it's a purple. I'm not sure they go together. But no matter. Yeah, that's what it is now. Are you going to put some burn lines in there to separate them? <clears throat> yes, Steve. I'm just asking the question. You ain't got to. I know, but I had burn lines before, so I'm going to redo them now. Do you want to speed up? Cause some smoke. Is that your Formica again? That's the Formica. Right. Um, right, what am I going to finish that with now? I think I'll just oil the AC one. And his woodwork learner said, Brian, if you don't like it, you can always make another mouse out of it. I could always cut it off. <laughs> yeah, I could. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I, indeed, I could. All of those mice started out of 16 inch bowls. Is that? Yeah. Valerie Falco is his earth on the bottom. I'm good like that. Earth on the bottom. And plum, midnight blue, and then sky blue. Right. Um, Not sure I would have used earth. Uh, earth is the new green base. Yep. Is it? Yeah, partly yeah. so. Stephen's fault. Stephen said earth on the bottom. So that's yeah. the new green base. That's what he said. Earth on the bottom. Just following what, uh, what I thought was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> not so sure I like it, but never mind, it'll do. Yeah, that's what it is. So let's, uh, well, I finished that. Put some half your sheen on it, I think. Just to give it a lot of polish. Lightly. See, I'd put polish. an embellishing wax over that now. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I would. I'd put an embellishing wax over that. Over here. Try. Over the whole Terry. thing. Over the whole there thing. Over, I'd, put, I'd, put, I'd put gold embellishing wax over the whole thing. Oh, God. Terry says dry brush the top of the texture. What's what? Gold, em, gold, gold embellishing wax. Dry over the whole thing, Steve. I'll do over the, other than the, the earth on the bottom, the whole thing. <laughs> Trevor, that's harsh. Funny, but harsh. Trevor says you could finish it with a bulk out. <laughs> <Trevor>. <laughs> I've already done that once. 
As soon as you said you could paint it black. I'm afraid to put this on now. No, you'll be all right. That'll buff off. One thing for the chat. The intrinsic colours don't show until you've polished it. No. They do pop a little bit when you put your sand and cedar on, but not the full Yeah, they, not they the don't full come up colour. until you've really polished it up. Then that's no. when they come to their own, own light. Am I supposed to be trying to get that down into the... Uh... No. No, don't fall. You put it on generously. Put it on don't, light. Don't, but don't, don't try and don't overwork it. You just want a slight hint of it. That's all you want. Now he tells me. Well, now I've got it down into the thing. I'll have to... Oh, you're a bit heavy-handed with that, Brian. Oh, I'm useless. <laughs> I can't want this stuff at all. all right, we've got a couple of uh, suggestions. Silver yep. embellishing wax would have been better. Oh, no, man. just the texture. And Brian, you could always arrange for another power cut. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, well, neat things happen. I'm not good at this kind of stuff, so this is all practice yeah. for me. If that embarrassing wax is a bit heavy, you could always use the gauge to um, thin it down a bit. Yeah. No, not again. <laughs> <coughs> I could actually use the texture tool again, though. Time for the yeah. bulk out, says Terry. No, that'd be fine with a bit of embellishing wax over it. I'll give it a nice little sheen. That bring out the grain of the wood as well. Any imperfections that'll show up. Yeah, there's, there's plenty of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Dave Oti says, "Steve, can I you do this on Friday, please?" But the way I it should it. be done. <laughs> yeah. Harsh. Don't beat the guy up. Brian. Why Brian, not? Just, just get a a brush. Your small a brush. A brush? Oh, no, go on. You're going to go over the texture. That's fine. No, I was just going to say... Texture into it. And, I'm just, um, going, just, just going to go over that texture yeah, again. Yeah, so that's can fine. I get yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I was just going to yeah. say with a brush, that'll fade that texture in a little bit better. Better turn the speed down a bit first, though. Yeah, that'd be good. Right, this one, man. Try and get this in the same angle. Not the best wood protection anyway, it's ash. No, it's not great. No, soft, it? Yeah. Don't like yeah. that at all. That's uh, different. Yeah, it's different is right. It's a thing. Yeah, it's not. The, the good thing is there's a mortise on the bottom so I can do whatever I like with when I'm finished. Brian's, yeah. Brian's done a thing. I'll tell you what, if you had a donut, you could finish that on the mortise. I've done, I've done yeah, could I? Right, I've done a thing, and it's not a very nice thing. I don't even like it. So what I'm going to do is do the inside and try the technique I was going to try and do. Right, inside. that's the Robert Sorby micro Mini. texturing tool. Mini, Mini texturing tool. Mini, Mini texturing tool. Yeah. So we'll leave the outside, and we'll see what happens to that. You might never see the light of day again. This could be a, this could be a firewood project. Well, we all have them. We do. Push that into the jaws. Lewis says that he's done work and he's moving Brian to the big screen. And Woodwork Learner says... Do you that. only needed a large screen when he started. It'll fit on a small screen now. <laughs> <laughs> These are all too funny this evening. I love it. Wow, me. As well, I'm not easily offended. That's all I can say. But I'm well, just reading them out. you got to remember, Brian, it's all practice. Yep. And Tick Magnet said, I think I'm going Brian. He tries so hard to be serious. <laughs> <laughs> Did I? When was that? I've forgotten about that. Serious? Yeah. I've done my time of being serious. I'm not doing it anymore. 
I'll stick this uh, face plate ring up in my face plate ring holder from Chuck Buddy. And put them screws in there out of the way. Now, I'm just going to reduce the size of this just by a little bit. Do you get bull gauge? Let's see how straight that is. So who in the chat is going to make us? And did anybody say they're going to make us? Yeah, I'm oh, going to go, I think. Oh, yeah. Good man, Pete. Well, Pete's going to go up on the bike. Take the bike up there. Just for a ride. Yeah. Be nice. I wish I was yeah, going. a few people. Can't buy too much from on the bike. Camera's shaking again. Something's causing it to vibrate. Don't know what. I understand why that is. Is it on the wall? Or? No, it's actually on a shelf. Oh, right. a little bit. Of... But the shelf's attached to the wall, so I can't really see what the difference would be. I don't understand why it's... Yeah, but the delay's vibrating through the floor. Just get yourself a bit, just a bit bigger than the clamp and screw a piece of wood on the wall and stick it on there. Um, Terry from the DJ Turns asking when it is. It's this weekend. Yeah, 29 through to the 3rd, is it, or the 2nd? Saturday and Sunday, basically, I think. Saturday and yeah. Sunday, yeah. Yeah. Right. 2nd is Monday. Right, so that's a nice edge now. I'm just going to make a little edge on it about that much. Oh, yeah. Matthew, how are you doing? Up. How are you doing, buddy? Oh, yeah. I've got a feeling this bull gauge is a bit blunt. Looks like it. So we'll just uh, get rid of that uh, one. Matthew, that maple pressure. bowl you did the other day was stunning, mate. Mm, very much so. So if anybody is so if anybody is going to make it, um, pop over and say hi to Dan on C12, Taylor's Murphy. He's um, displaying the Chuck Buddies, so that'd be good to see what the reaction is with them over there. Have you spelled it right now, Steve? Yes, I have spelled it right. Whoops! <laughs> Whoops! Oh, easy boy. Let's get cards. You, nobody noticed in the chat though until Nick said about it. <laughs> SK Quark. <laughs> Nick said I made, to me, look, said, um, I made you look the second time as well, didn't I? Yeah. Nick said to me, said, um, I didn't realise you changed your name of the channel. I don't know what you're on about. So then you not read that. That's trouble when you're trying to do five different jobs in one go. It's all right, hype, Brian. Sarah P said, the camera's fine, the workshop is shaking. <laughs> and it takes a little I'll, bit of movement, doesn't it? I'll just have a look over the other side. Just to make sure I'm not too close to the bottom. Getting desperate vibration on the bottom there. I mean, you're not looking at the final, are you? You haven't done a final win. Days. Yeah, Days, since, yeah, since 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 um, day before yesterday. <laughs> See, that looks to me like it's moved. <laughs> See, it's got some run out on it. Mm. Yeah, it's got a bit. I think you could be That's right, Mark. A ball mark. Okay. It's an off centre bowl, mate. But it is now. Matthew says that the bowl he did change shape a little bit because it wasn't as dry as he hoped it was. I love it when they change shape. I think that improves them no end. It's a ten pound feature. Well, it improves them unless it splits them down the middle and makes two <sighs> bowls. But 
As long as it changed shape um, and stays in one piece, I love it. Should be all right. I don't understand why it's not level. There ain't nothing wrong with the tenant or the mortars. May have just warped a little bit. Well, that's possible because okay. it's not 100% dry. Bit of moisture applied to it. Yeah. It's not 100% dry to start with. And heat gun. Let me just try putting that bike on now and see can I get that to run a bit smooth. That's definitely a big. I think that's the bowl moved. I think that's the actual. Yeah, that's I, the bowl has actually. Yeah, does I? Bowl's moved, mate. You're not going to get that to spin straight. Nope. No, it doesn't matter. No, you're right. Inside, it doesn't matter. Inside would be one straight. The outside is a different straight. That's fine. Two different straights on a yep. round bowl. That's that's a good trick. Norman, don't and... don't jinx it, Norman. Don't jinx it. Try and do something a bit better with this bottom though. I don't want it too deep because I will burn the inside of this now. <laughs> Who's gonna read out Stuart? <laughs> <laughs> the clumps of embellishing wax are making it off balance. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Oakley's foot. Uh, Cheers, not boys. Worried, too much brine as you won't be displaying it anyway. <laughs> or anywhere. I'm not one bit worried, guys. It's just uh, just kind of shows you it doesn't always go right. It doesn't always go right, but actually it doesn't go wrong either. As long as you learn from your mistakes, that's what matters. What have I learned from tonight? Don't use rainbow wax. Don't use rainbow wax. It's a rainbow. We've been massively supportive. <laughs> I've noticed that, actually. Congratulations, guys. Your support oh, hold on, immense. hold on. Let's try it. There, 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 Brian. It'll be better next time. That's fine. That's okay. See, better, like. Redfoot Resin has just put in Wow, this group is brutal tonight. To which Andy Woodbutt Erner has just replied, Don't worry, Brian, it will look good in a very dark room. It will. Alexa, fill the next tractor. But you got to remember, whatever Brian has turned out tonight. Alexa, still, extractor on. It's still better than what some people produce all the time. That's so. true. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you heard my Alexa there. I put the microphone up against her. Yeah, we, yeah, we did. <laughs> I hope everybody else is just doing the same thing. The revenge of the Ale Alexas. Dave Oti says, what have you learned tonight, Brian? Uh, listen to the earworms. Sand without lines. Read the label on the stain. Uh, colours and be careful with wax. Yep, all of the above. And don't tell your wife how much you spent on waxes when she's in the chat. <laughs> Especially not well, waxes when you turn off again. That was really Steve's fault. No, you are. I did. I don't, I'm not taking responsibility fair. for that one. To be fair, I did ask. I got mine at a really cheap rate. Because I didn't, didn't have to get them shipped from the UK. No, and you got a discount. Made them twelve ninety nine for the whole lot. The thing is when you sometimes do work you mean people are saying uh, that Brian you do turn out a lot of good work and I do and everybody knows that. Um, but there are times, even I do it, you go into the workshop, you turn a piece and it just is trash. <laughs> yeah. This, this could be an over-the-shoulder bowl. Yep. <laughs> four, I I've got three or four on a shelf up here behind me. A shelf of shame. Yep. i got to say, 
actually, there's been nothing wrong with this, apart from the fact that you wanted to look at the colour rather than the cutting, and then you got the colour wrong. Did I? It must have been but, you know, all the components were fine. Yeah. Just not necessarily in the right order. I must yeah. say, I'm not, a, I'm not a great lover of dark colours. So, I always think nice, bright, vibrant colours. I don't normally it. use uh, um, the blues. I just thought we'd try something different, mate. But yeah, sky blues. It I wasn't used to a it. great idea. Well, no, actually, used... no, because right, they haven't no. seen what's coming next yet, have they? No. You're just about to. Alexa, extractor off. So now we're going to use some of this. We're we'll going to try and do something different. Let me put this board up. Gotta say, I think my Alex is more responsive to you than she is to me. <laughs> no surprise there. This, this commanding tone. Yeah. What are you going to do now? <laughs> you got to blow the dust off that first, Brian, if you're going to stick it in there. Yep. Sorry, I think. I think we should be okay. The problem is getting this. Uh, no, it's just, he's, still this. he's still shocked by two items of earworms chat today. I can't think what that could be. One that Mark <laughs> thinks he's only on two lists. Now I realise I'm on three. Only three? Pretty well, sure it's only three. What he can remember. Joe, Jennifer, Michelle. Nikki. I'm not on Nikki's Lisa. list. Nikki loves me. I'm not on Lisa's Lisa. list. Lisa. Lisa. Kim. So me, huh? Damn. Kim doesn't bother with a list. No, she just beats you up. She just makes me pray every weekend. <laughs> Yeah, I did tell them all of this. They shouldn't snog me on the weekend because I was poorly. But they all did, you know. I didn't. Mark didn't. That's because you were too busy snogging, Kim. What? Is that, is that aluminium foil? Brian? That's aluminium, yep. It is aluminium uh, ducting tape. And it's a pain to get the backing off it. Is it cut in strips or is it coming in twice? I, I cut it into strips. It comes in a roll this size normally. This is a normal size for it. That's a normal size. Two inch. Mm -hmm. We were talking earlier, because it's got the backing strip on it, it's really good. You can cut shapes out of it. You can cut all sorts of shapes out of it. Anything you want, basically. We'll come have to go in a minute. <laughs> we'll go. I want to see this. You might not want to see this, but they might finish it. I hope it's going to go well. I hope so. Something needs to go right tonight. If I wasn't doing this live, I would take a whole lot more time over that, guys, and make sure it was perfectly straight and stuff. Right. Yes, mate. What? See, look at you. What? <laughs> oh, no. Are you putting me under pressure again? Just saying. I know. Just saying. Yeah, I know. Anyway, you've made me into a liar. I told my I, doctor I, during a week I only drink three cans a night. Well, you don't know. That's just a fourth. one. That's oh, a fourth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, you opened the third one quietly. Yeah, that's what no, I'm I opened the first one before we started because Brian was nattering so much. <laughs> well, my that's fault true. again. And he's asking, is that tape explosive? I hope this works. <laughs> it's going to be fine. Hope. It's going to work. I hope not. Uh, make the, get the creases out. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Just the edges you need to get the creases off, it's fine. Yeah. Not to worry about anything else. 
Marsh away, give me a. Yep. Stay. Half an hour. Go and get your beer, mate. This is a torture getting this packing paper over this. Even with a scalpel. Can't you fold the corner over? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do with the, the, the point of the scalpel. <coughs> Terry made the point that the glue may melt when you apply heat, and this is considerably more area than we did before, or you did before. I know, but we'll have a yeah, we'll have... Keep it in mind. Yeah, I know. Quick blast, you should be all right, shouldn't you? Surely. Yeah. We'll see. You've got your map gas, haven't you? Gav's yep. today's in. No Gav, it's aluminium tape. Hi, Gav. <coughs> It's aluminium tape, Gav. Ward Gav Wilson. wants to be magnesium tape. That'd be fun. <laughs> well, that, would be, uh, that would be excessively Ward fun. Howdy, howdy from the west coast of Arizona. Welcome, Ward. Hi, Ward. You're just in time to see Brian like the magnesium paper. Yeah. I just need to do a quick bit of housekeeping. Dude. I've just been reliably informed by a little birdie that Lewis the Klondike Grassman, who's in the chat, only requires four subs to get to 20,000. My goodness. Ooh. I bet it's so, then. Everybody who's not subbed to Klondike Grassman, go and sub. Okay, I'll do it. Yeah, I suppose I'd better add. I already have enough beer. He beat me. So I'm just doing the bits away from the tape first. And just work up to the edge of the tape. And the idea of the tape is it gives it's supposed to give you a nice straight line. There's the Link link. There. There's the link to his channel. Fantastic, Turner. <laughs> we laugh. He's better than I am, anyway, that's for sure. No, I'm sorry, I'm laughing at something Lewis has just said to me in the chat, in a private chat. Let's get Lewis to let's get Lewis to twenty thousand subscribers tonight. We'll feel like we've achieved something this evening. Yeah, as opposed to watching this rubbish. There's two. Sugar. It might be three because I think Ward's asked for the link. Dick Magnet subbed. Stuart subbed. Let's try that. See if that see if that worked. Should do, even though it's bubbling. That shouldn't. The flame's not scorched, does it? No. The tape is still good. Still intact. Come off. Go on. I'll work it out as one more person. One more All person. right, go on then, I will. Oh, I suppose I could subscribe to him. Actually, I might subscribe to my other channel. <laughs> so I'm not convinced that worked very well. He's a bit more burning in the middle. And yeah, you're absolutely right about the glue. Yeah, I was rushing it, yeah. But the way you get the glue off is to use methylate spirits. Already subscribed.
What a nice crisper lines across the middle there. But it didn't quite get. It's a nice effect though. Hmm. Yeah, it will be once I once I um, make it happen correctly. Um, I'll show you the piece that I practiced that I did earlier in a month to get it. I think it depends on the bit of wood as well. Where the idea came from. Depends on the bit of wood as well, I think you'll find. Don't yeah. It? So there is a lot of glue left in there, guys. Which will take a bit of getting, getting off. You might be better getting the glue off with um, cellulose thinners. I might. I can try that. Something up some of that, handy. I think I think he might have done it. Well, we achieved something right then. Whoops, sell your stars. Right, I'm gonna have to do that. No, it's not coming off, guys. I'm gonna have to take my time and do that right. Yeah. So that isn't gonna come off. So I need to take my time and do that right. Gav, the, effect, the effect I wanted to show you was this. Gav, we're all staying at Get the nice Premier straight Rings, lines. Harrogate the, South. This is where it came from. I'm going to redo this boat at a later stage. But if we put it there and put the overhead camera on, you maybe get an idea of the effect I was trying to go for. Was so the dark corner, the black corners, and then a black line through the middle. And then I'm going to paint these or, or stain these lines a different colour. That's the whole idea. Brian, this is, this is what? Just for comedic effect, whilst I've still got beer, get the gauge out and turn that off. No. I could. I don't want to, because I'm going to fix that glue and fix it. It'll be right. So that's how it comes out if you take your time. You get a nice straight line. And it goes down into the bow as well. But it's something you I took a lot of time doing this bit. Very nice. So that's the that's the effect I was after. The idea is grand. But the idea is fine, but it's just it's, yep. it's not it's not doable. So what, if, I was, if I was gonna do what you've done there, I would just do one segment at a time, let it all cool down again mm. and then go and do another yep, segment. You're probably right. You're probably right, Pete. Like I say, I think because it's ash, that don't help you. No. Soft grain, isn't it? I thought it would work with it, the ash with the, yeah, with the grain. Beach or maple, sycamore. Uh, you can go to the you can go to the, the bar now, Mark. I think I'll work in ash, but I think you need, as I said, just firm one segment. Give it five minutes, cool down again, then do the next segment. Just take your time <laughs> over it, it'll be fine. Andy, Andy Woodward there said, if you fail in a project, destroy all evidence you even tried. <laughs> destroy the evidence. It doesn't matter if you fail, as long as you learn and realise where you failed. You failed, you've got plenty of wood left yet. If we didn't fail, we wouldn't learn nothing. That's my attitude. I Barry, we can't, can't, we can't change the camera, Barry, because that, that camera is bouncing around all over the place. Is it? No. No, that Okay, well, that, that one's all right, actually. Yeah. That's a different camera. Yeah. Tell stop. Yeah, when you get to the middle there, Brian, try not to be pushing quite so hard. Yeah, I tried, I tried not to push on, but it kind of just slipped in there, Mark. Just kind of broke off in the middle. That'll do. That's a bike to be in where I need it. Well done, Lewis. Hitting 20,000. Well done. Well Good done, Lewis. Lewis. Good job, Good mate. It'll be a long time before I hit 20,000. <laughs> Congratulations to all those in the chat that made it happen. Yep. Yeah, very much so. so, there we go, guys. That's that project done and dusted. I'll just throw it over my shoulder now in a minute. <laughs> so, poor Hyun. The Greasy Turner said, "Every failure is the next step to success." 
You're absolutely yeah. right. You're absolutely right. I, I mean, I don't mind Philly at all. Um, fail, fail is first attempt at learning. So there's the Some really, really good ideas that nervous. we can all um, play with there as well. Good idea to try and uh, maybe just try and do a little decoration on the inside. Maybe try to just to do too much across the middle. I think you tried to do it too quick, mate. If I just did it once and then once and then do four corners to start with, we'll see how that works. Yeah. Uh, but it's a little bowl and a piece of ash. It was free wood, so I hope I've entertained you for half an hour <laughs> or two hours nearly. <laughs> kept you, it's kept you some wearying and uh, I'll try and recover this tomorrow and see how it goes. Well, like I say, you it's know, an hour and 40 minutes of absolute quality, mate, so... <laughs> and I will, I will video it, um, just to see if we can get it done correctly for you. Ah, that was a poor, poor show. But no, it was a good show. The uh, just shows everything doesn't always work. It doesn't planned. always work as right. I had it all planned out in my head how it was going to work, but it did not work. There was an awful lot of ideas in there for a life. To be fair, there was. Let's bring you guys back in. Oh, look, there's three monkeys, the three wise men. See, you have plenty of time yet. That's nice, isn't it? That's we, nice. We've got Lerner says, uh, um, I've covered it fully for you. Yeah? You. Oh, you haven't. You've got 15 minutes yet. You can run. I've got no beer, bro. Well, I mean, no. i got I got loads of no in the fridge, mate. No. <laughs> it's all right, I, haven't even, I haven't even got any cocoa I could have some Jack Daniels with Oh, you're a poor soul mm. That's bad Poor planning, I would say well, There you go, guys, yes. sorry about that It's a bit of a fail No, it's not a fail, mate but, uh, Far from a fail Yeah, well, I enjoyed it from a, a lot of good ideas <laughs> It's good fun, I enjoyed doing it I enjoyed trying it um, And as I say, we'll try and do it a bit better it does actually wet that piece of wood because I've just put it on my lathe and it's left a ring on the left a ring. It's because you've applied yeah. it, so it's driving the moisture out. Yeah, it's driving just, the moisture uh, out. Just chucking a link to Lewis's premiere at uh, 10.30. Thanks, Pete. Go over and watch somebody turn something. It's, uh, it'll be a good project. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of this rubbish. Right, so it's good night from Pete. Good night, all. Good night from Mark. Let's go get some beer. Good night. And it's good night from Steve. Good night. Have a good and week. Good night from me, guys. Thanks for coming in. And uh, I'll see you next week with a project that works, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody.